Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Cambis. The topic of today's discussion is an introduction to redox reactions. In this video, we will learn what are redox reactions, oxidation, reduction, oxidizing and reducing agents, and types of redox reactions. Let's start with the definition of redox reactions. A redox reaction is defined as a reaction which involves change in oxidation number of interacting species. For example, reaction of copper sulfate with zinc metal to produce copper metal and zinc sulfate. Here we can see that on the reactant side, in the copper sulfate, the oxidation number of copper is plus 2 and the oxidation number of zinc is 0. On the product side, the oxidation number of copper is 0, while the oxidation number of zinc in zinc sulfate is plus 2. Thus, during this reaction, the oxidation number of copper is changing from plus 2 to 0, while the oxidation number of zinc is changing from 0 to plus 2. So, this reaction is an example of a redox reaction. Let's have another example. Reaction of water molecule with sodium metal to produce hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide. Here, on the reactant side, the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus 1, while that of sodium is 0. On the product side, the oxidation number of hydrogen is 0, while that of sodium is plus 1. Thus, the oxidation number of hydrogen is changing from plus 1 to 0, and that of sodium from 0 to plus 1. So, this is also an example of a redox reaction. Oxidation. It is the increase in the magnitude of positive oxidation number or decrease in negative oxidation number of an element during a reaction. For example, conversion of zinc metal to zinc sulphate. Here, the oxidation number of zinc is changing from 0 to plus 2. So, there is increase in positive oxidation number and it is a process of oxidation. Conversion of SNCl2 to SNCl4. Here, the oxidation number of tin is changing from plus 2 to plus 4. Conversion of bromide ion to bromine. This is an example where there is decrease in negative oxidation number during a reaction. Here, the oxidation number of bromine is changing from minus 1 to 0. Reduction. In contrast to oxidation, Reduction is the decrease in the magnitude of positive oxidation number or increase in negative oxidation number of an element during a reaction. For example, conversion of copper sulphate to copper metal. Here, the oxidation number of copper is changing from plus 2 to 0. So, there is decrease in positive oxidation number and it is a process of reduction. Conversion of SNCl4 to SNCl2. Here, the oxidation number of tin is changing from plus two, plus 4 to plus 2. Conversion of fluorine to fluoride ion. This is the example where there is increase in negative oxidation number during the reaction. Here, the oxidation number of fluorine is changing from 0 to minus 1. Let's take one more example of this type, which is conversion of H2O2 to water. Here, we can see that there is increase in the magnitude of negative oxidation number of oxygen from minus 1 to minus 2. 
oxidizing and reducing agents oxidizing agents in a redox reaction a species which oxidizes other and itself gets reduced is called oxidizing agent it is also called oxidant in contrast a species which reduces other and gets oxidized itself is called reducing agent it is also called reductant let's again have the example of reaction of copper sulfate with zinc metal to produce copper metal and zinc sulfate on the reactant side the oxidation number of copper is plus 2 while that of zinc is 0 on the product side the oxidation number of copper is 0 and that of zinc is plus 2 so there is reduction of copper 2 plus to copper 0 and oxidation of zinc 0 to zinc 2 plus thus the copper sulfate which oxidizes zinc and itself gets reduced is an oxidizing agent while zinc metal which reduces copper sulfate and itself gets oxidized is a reducing agent let's have another example cupric oxide reacts with ammonia to produce copper metal and nitrogen gas along with water on the left side the oxidation number of copper is plus 2 and that of nitrogen is minus 3 on the right side the oxidation number of copper is 0 and that of nitrogen is also zero so there is reduction of copper plus two to copper zero and the oxidation of nitrogen from minus three to zero thus the cupric oxide which itself gets reduced to copper but oxidizes ammonia to nitrogen is an oxidizing agent while ammonia which itself gets oxidized to nitrogen gas but reduces cupric oxide to copper is a reducing agent now come to the last point types of redox reactions these are combination decomposition displacement and disproportionation reaction displacement reaction is of two types metal displacement and non-metal displacement reaction let's take one by one combination reactions a combination redox reaction can be represented as a plus b is equal to product where there may be one or more products the important thing which is to be noted is that either a or b or both must be in elemental form all the combustion reactions are combination reactions for example elemental carbon after complete reaction with oxygen produces carbon dioxide here carbon undergoes oxidation while oxygen reduction here both the reactants are in elemental form complete reaction of methane with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water in this reaction carbon zero is oxidized to carbon four while oxygen is reduced from zero to minus two in this reaction carbon is not in elemental form while oxygen is in elemental form let's have another example of combination reaction which is not a combustion reaction reaction of magnesium with nitrogen gas 
to produce magnesium nitride. Here, magnesium is oxidized from 0 to plus 2, while nitrogen is reduced from 0 to minus 3. This example, in this example, both the reactants are in elemental state. Decomposition reactions Opposite to combination reaction, in a decomposition redox reaction, a compound breaks into two or more components, at least one of which is in elemental state. For example, decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen. Here, both the product molecules are in elemental state. During the decomposition, hydrogen is reduced from plus 1 to 0, while oxygen is oxidized from minus 2 to 0. Decomposition of potassium chlorate into potassium chloride and molecular oxygen. In this case, only one component of the decomposition is in elemental state. Here, chlorine plus 5 is reduced to minus 1 and oxygen minus 2 is oxidized to 0. It is important to note that all the decomposition reactions are not redox reactions. For example, decomposition of calcium carbonate to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. There are two ways on the basis of which we can say that this is not a redox reaction. By definition, a redox decomposition reaction must have at least one component in elemental state on product side. In this example, none of the two products is in elemental state. So, this is an example of non-redox decomposition reaction. The second way is, the second way is to determine the oxidation number of each element on both the sides and then compare to find whether there is change in oxidation state of element or not. In this example, we can see that on the left side, the oxidation number of calcium, carbon and oxygen respectively are plus 2, plus 4 and minus 2. On the right side too, the oxidation number of these elements are plus 2, plus 4 and minus 2. Since there is no change in oxidation state of element during the decomposition, so this is an example of non-redox decomposition reaction. Displacement redox reactions. In this, an ion or an atom in a compound is replaced by an ion or atom of another element. This reaction can be represented as A plus BC is equal to AB plus C, where C in compound BC is replaced by A based on whether the element to be displaced is metal or non-metal this reaction is of two types metal displacement and non-metal displacement reaction let's first discuss metal displacement reaction in this reaction a metal in a compound is replaced by another metal in uncombined state for example Reaction of copper sulphate with zinc metal to produce copper and zinc sulphate. Here, the copper metal in copper sulphate is replaced by zinc metal. Another example, reaction of chromium oxide with aluminum to produce dialuminum trioxide and chromium. Here, the chromium in chromium oxide is displaced by aluminum. Non-metal displacement reaction. In this, a non-metal in a compound is replaced by another element in uncombined state. For example, reaction of sodium metal with water 
to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Here, hydrogen is a non-metal present in water is displaced by sodium. Reaction of zinc metal with HCl to produce zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Reaction of chlorine with KBr produces KCl and bromine. Here the non-metal bromine in KBr is displaced by chlorine. Disproportionation reaction. It is a special type of redox reaction in which an element in one oxidation state is simultaneously oxidized and reduced. In this reaction, one of the reactant species always contain an element that can exist at least in three oxidation states. The element in the reactant is in intermediate oxidation state and both the higher and lower oxidation states are formed by the reaction. For example, decomposition of hydrogen peroxide into water and molecular oxygen. We know that oxygen can have three oxidation states minus 2, minus 1 and 0. In hydrogen peroxide it has minus 1 oxidation state, in water minus 2 and in elemental state 0. During this decomposition reaction peroxide oxygen with minus 1 oxidation state is simultaneously reduced to minus 2 and oxidized to zero state. Another example, disproportionation of chlorine in alkaline medium to produce hypochloride and chloride ion. Another example, disproportionation of phosphorus into phosphine and hypophosphoric acid that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video